Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve problem 33 of chapter 22 of Fundamentals of Physics. In the figure, a semi-infinite non-conducting rod, that is, infinite in one direction only, has uniform, char uniform linear charge density lambda. Show that the electric field at the point P makes an angle of 45 degrees with the rod and that this result is independent of the distance r. Hint, separately find the component of the field parallel to the rod and the component perpendicular to the rod. Ok, let's solve the problem using this hint. Let's start drawing the axis to solve the problem. So here we have, let's say, dashed lines in blue. Okay. So here we have our x axis, and here our y axis. So x and y. And we will we'll divide our rod in small infinitesimal pieces. So let's do it. I will do it in red. So in small pieces. And the length of this small piece is infinitesimal. So, let's say here the length is the x. And in this piece we'll have a charge, an infinit infinitesimal charge, d dq, that equals lambda times the x. And we'll find the field caused by this small charge. That's our approach. That's the way we we'll solve the problem. So let's draw the field. Uh, okay, here, dashed line. Here we have the direction of the field, of course in the point P, and here we'll have, so, the field, let's use a continuous line, okay, here we have the field, say E, we'll have an angle here, let's say theta, and the same angle here. So, let's write the y component of the field, the, co the component, component of the field in the y direction. Let's start writing this component. Let's say that the field here, let's write it as d e, a small part of the total field, of course, because we are considering only a small part of the rod. So we can write that d, let's say, let's write in blue, d e in the y direction, e, it is 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0, the charge the key, the q, divided by the distance between the charge and the point squared, so r squared, and as we are taking only the, the component in the vertical direction, it is necessary to project the field in this direction, so here cosine of theta. 
Therefore, we will have d by equals r here, the small r, is the square root of r, this, plus this distance, that is, x, because we are taking an arbitrary point in the x axis. Therefore, x is squared. So we have 1 divided by 4p epsilon 0. The charge is lambda multiplied by dx divided by r squared plus x squared multiplied by cosine of theta. And here it's very common this in electrostatic problems. Here we have to choose what variable we want to use to solve the problem. And in most cases is better to use the angle as variable. So we use also the angle. So it's necessary to write this term and this dx also as functions of the angle. So we can write that the tangent of theta equals x divided by r. Therefore, x is r tangent of theta. And we can differentiate both sides of this equation to obtain dx equals r differentiating the tangent, we'll have 1 divided by cosine squared of theta d theta. So, here we have dx and we also have to write uh, r squared plus x squared. And we can write, for example, that the cosine of theta equals r divided by the square root of r squared plus x squared. Okay, here we have the angle. And therefore, r is squared plus x is squared equals r is squared divided by cosine squared of theta. Okay, now let's substitute this in our expression for the field in the vertical direction. Therefore, we can write that the EY equals lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 and here we have dx, so dx is r divide by cosine square of theta multiplied by d theta divide by r squared plus x squared there is r squared divided by cosine squared of theta and cosine of theta 
So we, we can cancel these cosines and also here we can cancel. Therefore, we'll find the EY equals lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cosine of theta d theta. And now we can integrate both sides of this equation. So the left side of the equation will integrate to find, of course, e in the y direction. It will be equals lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r integral of cosine of theta d theta. And we'll integrate from the origin to the infinite. So the angle will vary varies from theta equals 0 to pi divided by 2. So 0 and pi divided by 2. Let's copy in. Okay. Therefore, we will have E y equals lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r and integrating the cosine of theta we will find sine of theta varying from 0 to pi divided by 2 and sine of pi divided by 2 equals 1 and sine of 0 is 0. Therefore, the field in the y direction is lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r. Now let's solve, let's find the field, the projection of the field, let's say, in this direction. Let's put in right. Okay. 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 Here. Let's project to find the field in the y direction also. We already find the field here in this direction, in the y direction. Now we have we have to find the field in the horizontal direction. So let's write it. We found here and it's necessary to find here. But it's simple. It's very simple because we can start from maybe if you look to this expression, the only difference between the projector in the y or x direction is the cosine in the case of the vertical and sine in the case of the horizontal direction. Of course, it too appears uh, minus, but it's not important for us. So let's copy. Maybe let's copy the expression here and only change the projection. So here we have, let's copy. So we can write in the x direction, it will be here we'll have sine of theta and minus. This is the difference between the, the vertical and the horizontal direction, only this difference. And we can now integrate this expression. So 
I will maintain in red the, to emphasize the difference. So here we'll have uh, the field in the x direction equals minus lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon r from integrated from 0 to pi divided by 2 and here we have sine of theta d theta so integrate we will have field equals minus 4 pi epsilon 0 r integrate the sine here we have minus cosine of theta varying from 0 to pi divided by 2 cosine of pi divided by 2 is 0 so minus cosine of 0 so minus 1 therefore the projection to be equals to lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r therefore the magnitude of the projection is exactly the same in other words this length is equal to this length therefore the angle here let's say alpha is 45 degrees the tangent of alpha equals the component in the y direction divided by the component in the x direction and they are the same so it's 1 therefore alpha equals 45 degrees that's the idea and of course the angle is independent of r and that's it here we have the solution of our problem the problem is solved <laughs>